Want to rise above the rest? Do you have what it takes to be a peculiar purple protege? <gasps> I've been wanting to find a way to show the purple pie man how fantastic I am. And now he's looking for a right hand berry. What? What? <laughs> Wait, you all want to be the purple pie man's protege? Duh! An opportunity like this could jumpstart my banking career. It would be very educational. I just want to watch every berry fight. What? We're not going to fight with each other over a job. Prepare to fight with each other over a job! One of you lucky berries will soon earn the rare privilege of shadowing yours truly, all expenses unpaid. Which is applause worthy. <laughs> Show me your very best. Winning is everything. Losing is for losers. Now, let the competition begin! Balance your duties and keep me on your mind at all times. A smart berry is always a front runner. <laughs> Shoulder the load so I don't have to. I love a determined berry who's not afraid to show she's better than the rest. I tell you to! I like a berry who flows while her friends stumble. <laughs> Divide, conquer, stay number one. Now the final competition. I've lost my keys. They're in that pie! Find them. On your mark! Get set! Tear it apart! The Berry Works is a place of friendship, community, and inclusion! But look at us! I don't know about you, but if this is how to succeed in baking, by being mean and competitive and covered in uh, pie filling, then I don't want to be successful. I want to be happy with my friends. What an adorably sweet and naive statement from Snotberry Blortcake. But friends don't win you awards. Friends don't put a pie shop on every corner of Big Apple City. It's a berry squash berry world out there. So you can be sweet, or you can be the best. Your call. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I think I can be the best without fighting the people who care about me the most. <laughs> Ugh, barf. Fine. You can all be losers together. The winner of the competition is her, Sour Grapes. She didn't even compete. No, but she did enjoy watching you all fight. Also, she's my niece. Yay. You know what? We don't need the Purple Pie Man. Follow me. I've got congrats on not being the Purple Protege Cookies for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Do you either of you have any sour sops? Ew, that weird prickly fruit? It may look prickly, but it's gonna taste delicious in the sour sop sponge cake I wanna bake. It's out of season. You're not gonna find it anywhere in the city. Huck, what are you doing? I saw some prickly fruits while doing a gig in Fruit Lake Alley. Fruit Lake Alley? What's Fruit Like Alley? It's a secret market that sells impossible to find ingredients, including out of season fruit. Run by the sneakiest berries around. They'll sell you a pie and then steal the filling. Bad news. Shortcakes hasn't lived in Big Apple City as long as we have. She thinks every berry is as nice as she is. Fruit Like Alley sounds adorable! We're, We're going, going with, with her. her. Hey, Caramella. Uh, why you gotta use my name? Uh? 
sorry, Caramella. This is strawberry shortcake, orange blossom, and raspberry tart. This is Caramella Eclair. Her dad runs the... <laughs> what do you want? And can you pay? I woke up this morning and I said to myself, Self, let's make a sponge cake, but what kind? So I looked at my rest of <laughs> shop, and yeah. She's nice. Watch. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I got. I got a thing. You want a thing? I got a thing. Hey kid, wanna buy an egg beater? Oh thanks, but I've already got this. <laughs> These berries will swindle us any way they can. I'm sure that's not true. They seem nice. That guy's selling melons. Hollow melons. Well, that cake looks delicious. Frosted with toothpaste. <gasps> I'm starting to think these berries might not be trustworthy. <sighs> the crumb father of Fruit Leg Alley. Also, my dad, Caramel Tartufo. Mm, my sweet Caramella tells me you're looking for a sour sop. Very difficult to obtain. Luckily, I have a batch that just came in from Banana Beach for a price. Well, my friend won't pay a nickel over market value. We didn't come here to get cheated. Before we continue and I respond to your disrespect, give me a moment to sample this banana bread made from my mama's delicious recipe. <coughs> this is not my mama's fluffy banana bread! Until the baker gets it right! Fruit Lake Alley is closed! Everybody out! Uh, Overmix batter. I can fix that. Why would you do this for me? Just trying to bake the world a better place one treat at a time. Huh? You've done me a kindness today, Strawberry Shortcake. This is what my mama used to make. The sour sop is yours. You're all welcome in Fruit Leg Alley anytime as my special guests. There you go. See, berries always do the right thing if you just... Hey! Where's my sock? Yo, Sam, yes! Put it back! We definitely would have cheated her if she hadn't won my dad over. Yo, keep an eye on your friend. She's way too trusting. Uh, yeah, okay, that's finished. Raspberry and I joined forces for a special pair of berry pie. We have so many orders, we can't leave to deliver them. Luckily, I uh, know a berry. Who has two thumbs and a berry -oki wagon that makes deliveries? This berry, right here. <laughs> No way. What? Puck is very reliable. <laughs> this order goes to Fruit Leg Alley. Nothing can go wrong with Caramel Tartufo's pies. Luckily, I know a berry. No, I'm too busy. And also, no! Please, Bread. I need some very smart, punctual, and fabulously responsible to keep an eye on. Come on, Wheel. I know she's just flattering me to get what she wants, but it doesn't mean it's not true. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to follow my plan exactly to get these pies delivered on time. No questions, no conversation, no... Huck. <gasps> no unscheduled stops! Mr. Mangosteen was just telling me foxberries are in season! We don't have time for foxberries. Okay, let's get... Huckleberry, where are the pies? Give us back our pies! Please! <gasps> so, how's it going? Completely under control. Really? I'll call you back. <laughs> Whoa, Brad, that was almost a disaster. Okay, if we take Cinnamon Street. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> 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 
And then I said, cheese, mister, you gouda fooled me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hawk. So funny and helpful. Here, I bought extra nutmeg. My way of saying thank you. Huckleberry! Look, Brad, Mrs. Crumbcake just gave us thank you, Nutmeg. Oh, does she have any focus on your job, Ginger, to go with it? Uh, I don't think that's a real spice. Come on. <laughs> Am I being punished? I feel like I'm being punished. <sighs> it's okay. I'm sure Mr. Tartufo will understand. I don't understand. To say I've been waiting all day would be an understatement. Sir, we could give you excuses, but life's real adventure is the journey. So we made sure these pies went on an adventure so big that you would taste our journey in each bite. I accept your nonsensical answer. I will consider our business concluded. Okay, let's get going. Uh, Mr. Tartufo, do I smell bilberries? Good nose. These bilberries recently fell off the back of a truck. Please take some on your way out. Awesome! What took you two so long? I'm sorry. I tried, but he just kept being him. Why is he your delivery, Barry? What ingredients did we need for tomorrow's pies again? Nutmeg, bilberries, and foxberries. What's that have to do with any? That is why. Thanks, Huck. Don't thank me. Thank my very bestie, Brad. If it wasn't for him, who knows where I would have ended up. How? Don't worry, buddy. I'll teach you to be a delivery berry just like me. Great. So you two can be our delivery berries again tomorrow, right? No. Yes. He means yes. <laughs>